Everything we see is made of atoms. How these atoms interconnect ultimately dictates the properties and materials that they will end up forming. We can see the effect of changing how things connect in a demonstration with these plastic blocks. If we build them into columns, then we can place a few weights on them before it breaks. Now if we interlink the blocks, we can place a lot more weight on the blocks before it fails. This is similar to how things are built from atoms. If you connect atoms in different ways, you can change the properties. Like the building blocks, atoms can connect in various ways by forming different bonds. The way atoms can bond depends on the number of electrons available. Elements have specific number of electrons available to form different numbers of bonds. The variety of bonding connections that can be made gives us range of everything we see. The element carbon has four electrons for forming bonds, and by changing the way they connect together, it changes the properties of the material carbon creates. Carbon can make several different structures. The two most familiar are graphite and diamond. Graphite is the main material used in pencils. Because it is a very soft material, so that when we move it over a piece of paper, it leaves a mark. The reason graphite is so soft is linked to its structure. This model shows the structure of graphite. In the model, the black balls are the carbon atoms. They form a sheet of atoms connecting to three other carbon atoms. The spare electron holds together multiple sheets with weak bonds, which are represented here by the springs in this model, making graphite a very soft material. Carbon in diamond forms a different structure, where each carbon atom connects to four neighbouring atoms in an interlinked structure. Unlike graphite, all these strong bonds are the same. It is the combination of the light carbon atoms, strong bonds and the interlinked structure that gives diamond its amazing properties, such as the hardest material, having the highest thermal conductivity and makes it transparent to the widest range of light than any other material. Like all materials, there are always defects and impurities, whether they are made in nature or in the lab. As materials engineers, we enhance the properties of diamond by altering the composition of the material. There are several ways we can do this. We can change the chemical composition by swapping a carbon atom with other elements. For example, here we have three diamonds, and by changing less than one in a million of the carbon atoms to defects, we can change the colour from clear to blue to pink. We can also play around with the structure of the material by taking lots of small diamond crystals and form polycrystalline diamond. It has this textured surface due to the small grains, although when we polish it, it looks flat and clear. Lastly, we can mix the diamond with other materials which form composite materials to benefit from the diamond's properties and the other materials we can add to it. This disc, for example, is mixed with metals, which helps diamond abrasive properties. By changing the conditions of how we grow diamond, we can control these properties and engineer the diamond for different applications.